In the United States, the number one cause of accidental death isn't auto accidents or firearms. It is the abuse of prescription medications, some of which are as addictive as heroin. Medications are dispensed and stored in the same prescription vials that you get from your pharmacist. Child-resistant containers whose standards were established in 1970, almost 50 years ago, and only restrict access by children aged five and younger. As a result, pilfering from these containers, secretly taking a few pills at a time, has become the number one source for teen prescription drug abuse, with a further 70% of all abusers stealing the drugs from family and friends. SafeRx locking prescription vials, or LPVs, are designed to prevent pilfering by teenagers and accidental ingestion by children. Engineered to require a tool to break open, SafeRx LPVs have tamper-evident features What I have here in my hand is a locking prescription pill vial. The cap actually has 10,000 potential combinations in it, so it's very hard for somebody to get into it that doesn't belong in it. But it also has a lot of great certifications. It's child resistance certified. It's senior friendly certified. As a matter of fact, uh, for seniors, it's the easiest cap in the marketplace for them to take off because all they have to do is put in their code and then they just lift it off. So it also has one other neat standard. It's also light and tight certified, which means that your pills won't ultraviolet degrade. And if it accidentally falls into the kitchen sink while you're doing your morning routine, the pills will still be dry. And nobody but you gets to the pills. SafeRx LPVs are a 50-year update to medication container security and provide a better way to keep out of the reach of children and prevent teen prescription drug abuse. Hi, I'm Jennifer, and I'm here to teach you how to encode a cap for the SafeRx locking prescription vials. So the key is to know that there are three parts to this process. There is the cap, the vial, and the encoder. And the way this works is a patient comes in, they'll be asked for their four-digit code, and that four-digit number is then set on the dials uh, here on the cap. Now there are 10,000 possibilities for setting these combinations, so your patients have lots of opportunity to choose their numbers, but we only need four. So you'll start by setting the number. I'm gonna do this one easy at one, two, three, four. So you turn the dials to line up on the arrow that you see on the cap, and it's gonna go left to right on the cap, just like you were reading. The next thing you wanna do is take your cap and you're gonna put it onto the encoding machine, lined up arrow to arrow, and then firmly push down, and that's what sets the code into the cap. And you'll see the engagement tabs are no longer here on the cap. And once you've set that, you stick it right here on the bottle, twist, and you're all done. That's as simple as that is.